Okay, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. No, I'm looking forward to it. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you soon. Okay. Who was that? That was just the... Uh, that was the owner of the new club. Oh, so, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he'd be pretty <laughs> pleased with where we're headed as well. I know you'd oh, to it. Yeah, I know. I, <sighs> I, I don't know. Do you want to do, do, do it on three? On three. Say at the same time. Yep. Yeah. Sure. One. One. Two. Three. The Republic Germany. Of I <laughs> what do you mean? Germany. Germany. Germany now. I can't. Germany. <laughs> I thought you were going to Ireland. I did at one point, but you made it quite clear we weren't going. So you know, Germany <laughs> now. You try and try and. I'm so sorry, I just thought... Well, you know, you know two episodes of time, we'll see, won't we? I mean, I mean with your track record, it's certainly keep possible. the dream alive. I know, I mean, you'll be, you'll be gone before we get there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So then, so then, welcome back, viewers. We have arrived at Shelbourne FC. We had loads of offers from loads of different places. Uh, Sweden, sort of the sixth tier. Sorry, Sweden, I just didn't fancy that. The, the worst team in Croatia, I'd have, I'd have enough of that. Um, and then uh, various teams around Europe. We had a few teams in England as well interested. And uh, we've ended up in the Republic of Ireland, Shelbourne FC. Now, in the early sort of 2000s, late 90s, Shelbourne were one of the best teams in Ireland. If you ever, if you thought about Irish football, you would often think of Shelbourne FC. Now, here they are. Sort of in the in the lower depths in the first division. Now let me just level with you quickly. Um, I just played my first game and did the intros and everything and didn't hit record. But luckily, with the, the joys of shadow play, I can show you the second half of that game where the score is one one. Take it away. We're going to play another match. Okay, so far, you know, it's not going too badly. They're, as I say, they're, they're one of the better teams in the division. So if we can avoid defeat, I think that's probably going to be good enough. Brady. Oh, he's gone. Gareth Brady. Remove him from the field of play. There we are. Good. Cheerio. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your trip off down the tunnel. We, we don't want to see you ever again. You repulse us. Doyle, the goal scorer. With, oh, shouldn't have done that. That was, you know, a bit, a bit. Oh, no. No. I'm hoping Johnny English steps up and does something for me. But if you've seen the Johnny English films, you'll know two things. One, they're not that good. And secondly, he's not that capable. I'm hoping Johnny Eng are Johnny English. He's called James, but I'm, I've gone with Johnny. In fact, why call him James from now on? Johnny English. <sighs> Johnny. I, not in capitals, Ben. He's not, he's not that big time. Johnny English. Better. Again, forward. Out on the side, Shannon. When I've seen that he could be dangerous. Shannon with the ball in. Elliot's there. The experience of Stephen Elliot has got us the goal. It's Shelbourne 2, Finn Harps 1. And, uh, well, th this could be... Who thought we would end the season? Technically, it's finished in some parts of the world. Who thought we'd end the season with, you know, happiness? Maybe a promotion. You didn't see that coming, did you? I might be the first manager in sort of... A calendar sort of 2016 2017 year to have two relegations and a promotion which would be nice alternatively they'll come fifth and it'll be a real disappointment for everybody so there we are then the ball's thrown in and that's it shellbourne two i mean winning a game is fun this i've not won many i'll tell you what the win percentage might be about to rocket through the roof you might get into the sort of the 20 percent mark <laughs> A very nice victory, boys. Well done. First game in charge of Shelbourne. And I've got to say, it's looking good. Stephen Elliott's out for... It's just annoying because he's obviously our best striker. He's journeyman striker. <laughs> Fits into this series until he's out for the rest of the season. So it's going to be six to seven weeks because I'm not going to give him injections. Useless. Six to, see you later, Stephen. Thanks for the goal you've just scored for us. Appreciate that. So, as you can see from that game there... It was a very well-fought victory for us, and now we play our second game. Of course, the injury to Stephen Elliott is a problem, and our recent form isn't too bad. Let me run you then through the rest of the team. Admittedly, that would have been a little bit confusing, considering you'd have seen a team there without really knowing who they are. I should say, to begin with, this is the formation we're using. It's gone well so far. Um suspensions and injuries are hurting us more and more but we are now third in the division which isn't too bad after winning that first game so i'm happy about that i just think with injuries piling up we could be in a spot of bother we're now restricted to two defenders but we're gonna have to have a little change around for the next game now the interesting thing about shelbourne is that they can't be relegated i finally picked a side that means i can't be relegated which i think is a positive for all of us um shelbourne interestingly then are in a division where there's a playoff spot as well as an automatic spot and if you win that obviously you go up to 
the Premier Division with the likes of Shamrock Rovers and, uh, and Cork City and Dundalk. Uh, that probably said that wrong. Bohemians, teams you'll probably be familiar with. Um, I also had an interview, I should say, at Derry City, but they didn't hire me. So bear that in mind for the future. Um, I, I think we're, I'm confident we can get into the playoff spots or maybe even the automatic spots. There aren't that many games to go. Six matches in all. We're going to play one today against Waterford United and you'll notice that Waterford up in second place. It's a key fixture. Um, my, the thing that really attracted me to Shellboard is they've actually lost the least amount of games in this division. Only four to their name and I think that gives us every chance of getting a promotion. Lots of draws uh, especially when you consider us to Waterford who have had one draw. Lots more defeats. You can see that the way that those teams uh, vary. I'm hoping then we can do the business today with the players we've got and uh, and get another win. Obviously, you've seen one because I'm an idiot. You didn't see it properly as such. But in terms of the team, it's not too bad. There's some good players. There's some not so good players. As you've, as you've seen already, I've already nicknamed one player. Johnny English was James, now Johnny. So, sorry, Johnny, James. I mean, what do we do? I think the stars, though, of the team um, are probably going to be Shannon. We've got uh, Gareth, who plays just in, just behind the front two. And then we've got Adam Evans on that left-hand side. He's got a little bit of pace about him. Good dribbling, crossing, first touch. He's the, he's the player I think could perform even at a higher level than this. Maybe sort of the lower leagues in England, but he's probably a little step up from here. Um, him and Shannon on either side are going to be key in this system. Stephen Elliott would have been until the injury we got to him. So that's good. Right then, let's, uh, let's move forward, get on to our next game. It is on the 14th, only three days' time. Great, that's good. Cause, oh, great. Injuries, suspensions, all that. So there we are. Look, the 2 1 confirmed. They went down to 10 men, but who cares? Because of my idiocy, this has just become a longer video, so enjoy. Right then, second game of the episode. I mean, this wasn't scheduled, but who who cares? This is this is the joys of football manager. One more game, as they say. Uh, Murray's being goal then. We've got McNo... But no, but no, oh, never mind. Fadden, Brennan, uh, complete the back three. Doyle and Nolan in the middle. We've got Shannon, as mentioned, on the right. Evans on the left. Uh, oh, Gareth. We're going with Gareth for now. In fact, Colin? Colin? Probably Colin. Maybe, maybe it's just Colin. Who knows? Uh, up front then, Matty Hamilton comes in to replace Stephen Elliot and Johnny English will be up front. Uh, probably a bit annoying for him considering he's not actually English. He's he's Irish. No, don't worry about that, Johnny. Just do your business. Seeing here, actually, Massey Hamilton, not too bad. Could, could actually do damage in this division. So far, hasn't done any damage. Okay, then. Waterford are the team we're facing. We are going... It's it's not dissimilar from the Salford formation I used to, all those all those years ago. Up top, Gary Sheehan up top. He looks... He seems familiar for some reason. Anyway, it looks decent. Um, could be the danger man for them, and they're playing a, a more traditional four-two-three-one. But I am formation man. This is what I this is what I deal with. We're playing two defensive midfielders, two wingers, an advanced playmaker, and a couple of strikers up top. Now, at some point, I probably probably will pull out the Irish accent, but we'll keep it locked away in here for now okay we started the campaign well i'm hoping we continue that now we did make one ch a small change to our uh, system we started playing shorter passing our pass completion was particularly terrible so i'm going to make that change at the start of this game and hopefully it pays off for us as they're through on goal sheehan with a chance our goalkeeper is absolutely nowhere uh bags of goal gary sheehan we highlighted him just before the game and he's already got the first goal of the game for waterford i'm um, didn't think that would happen. Keo plays the ball through. Sheehan gets in between our defensive line. And then our goalkeeper just doesn't know. The ball, mate. Save the ball. Bloody hell. I mean, come on. Oh, we've lost that in midfield. And now Gavlin is through on goal. Gavlin pulls it back to Sheehan. Oh, it's a great save from Murray. Well, based on what he did a moment ago, I was expecting a goal there. You can see actually from the league table, Finn Harps have leapfrogged us, which isn't good at all. Um, the, the pressure is mounting as Nolan boots clear. I, oh, dear me. The pass completion in the last game wasn't good. From either side, it's not that good in this. I mean, it's got worse since I put a shorter passing on. 57%. They, like... Just just over half of the passes make it. Okay, can we build from the back here? Are we a footballing side? That's the question. Uh, Stephen Elliott's goal came from a similar... Oh, Johnny English with a, sh a strike. Came from a similar area from Shannon. Played inside and then finished off. I'm hoping that's where our, our sources of goals will come in this game too. Shannon though with a corner kick just before half time. Headed wide and Brian uh, Brian Fadden. I mean, he's, I don't think he is called Brian. I've just called, I don't know what I've called him Brian for. There's a Brian Nolan. Very confusing. So 1-0. Defeated at this stage, but um, I mean, we've got wingers to bring on. If, if oh god, no more defensive issues. That's all I ask. But if we if we need more wingers, I got. I mean, I mean, demand. Just walk into the stock room or the subs bench. I mean, I don't, I don't know why I'm describing it as if it's Argos. She and oh no, oh for God's sake, defensively asleep. Goal goalkeeper is unsure of the rules. 
and it's 2-0. I mean, I was only going to play one game in this episode. As you've seen, we won that one. It would have been a great moment for us all. I'm playing this one, and I'm going to watch my goalkeeper do that. Not only did he... Fl I mean, why does he fall on the floor? The ball's played through. I've got no issue with him attempting to go for the ball. But he's telling me that really unbalances him that much that he thinks I better just go... I better have a sit down. Like, come on! Get up! Right, this isn't good. We're going to go We're going to go all out attack. We're going to push the wingers on, because why not? We're going to push on... Oh, I've got no left backs. Let's just pretend that one of them can play there. That's what we're going to play. It's a bit different. I mean, what is that? In all seriousness, what is that? Look, we're 2-0 down. We've got to make We've got to make changes to influence the game. Ball played through. Johnny English into Hamilton. Oh, it's been deflected behind. But maybe we're building here for a comeback. We've gone attacking. We've got every chance. Shannon, ball in. Whipped in. Fadden's there, but Kelly claims. And it's still 2-0 to Waterford. A team that I was hoping, if we won this game... Would you know that would put us in a really strong position? Sadly, the reverse is happening and we're struggling. I mean, what has Nolan done there? Baffling. Hamilton heads on. Johnny English, go on. Oh, yes, in off the post. He didn't respect the equipment, but who cares? Johnny English is fifth goal of the season. And I mean, I feel like I should be doing the James Bond theme tune, although Johnny English is in no way copywriting James Bond. Don't know what gave you that idea. Strike off the post and in. I mean, this game isn't over yet. We've gone attacking. We've pushed men on and they can't handle us. We're doing short passing. I'm going to keep the, the short passing philosophy as Murray comes and claims. And now, from this from this situation, can we counter-attack? We're going to have to build from the back. I'm giving us I'm giving us a chance, maybe. Ball five forward. Can we bring this down? We do do. Hamilton, he's got options to that right-hand side. Oh, he's lost the ball. Oh, they're through on goal. She in for the hat-trick. Bloody hell. No, no, no. Murray with a save. Just over, so just about 10 minutes to go here. We've got a goal. We're back in this. We're going to go slightly more structured and we're going to forgo. I, I've, I'm changing the plan completely. No longer are we short passing. We're lumping it. I mean, time has is, time is ticked away here. Time has as good as run out. There may be one last chance for Waterford. Uh, Sheehan for the hat trick. He's He's been tackled. I mean, there's about 10 seconds left. It's not looking good. As uh, Is it headed on? No, that looks like it's going to be it, which is really disappointing. A 2-1 defeat. I mean, I thought the win percentage would improve here. I lied. It's not improving. It's just disappointing. 2-1 to Waterford then. And that brings an end to the episode for the, for the second time for me today. Uh, that brings an end to the episode. Disappointing, but... I still think promotion is certainly possible. The promotion bid has taken a hit. I think if we don't get promoted, I don't really know what happens, to be honest. We've got five league games left to go. We'll probably come back, actually, next episode with the final three games. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, that would have been the plan if we'd have stayed in Ukraine. So we'll kind of stick to it. So we'll do three games. Hopefully, we can secure promotion with those three games. And uh, and we'll have to wait and see then. Right, then. That does bring us to the end of what has been a bit of a higgledy piggledy episode. Sorry, hopefully it, it made sense to you, all in all. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow for another one then if we'd love with care you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you want to see more subscribe to the channel and uh i'll see you again soon goodbye bloody hell did we hit record is everything good be fine yeah i'm an idiot